Quero meu primeiro beijo Não quero ficar impune Hi, I'm Bruno Lima. I'm here at ADXC representing Portugal. And I'm Alessandro Machado. Uh, I'm Bruno's coach and we are from Portugal from a team called Emma Team. Hey, what are five things you can't live without? Oh, I think the, the problem of everyone, the cell phone, uh, is something that I cannot live without, uh, but specifically because it's there that I keep my content. Uh, I can study there, I can do, I, I can watch video. So that's, that's the number one. And uh, besides that, I can see much more things to add, the uh, materialistic uh, parts. I uh, cannot see that, uh, like, um, yeah, I don't like to buy clothes, I don't like to wear shoes, I like to be barefoot, I don't have, like, anything, uh, yeah, material to add. If you weren't a fighter, what would your career be? If I wasn't a jiu-jitsu fighter, uh, I wouldn't be so happy. So I would probably find something that I would, I would be good at, that gave me the maximum amount of money that I could do. But I, I wouldn't be too picky, you know, because fighting, fighting and being a jiu-jitsu fighter and professor, uh, teaching the art is, is the stuff that I really love. What is something else you're good at? I don't know, singing. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, he's, if, he, if he trained, he would be a good singer for sure. <laughs> but he has a good voice, actually. <risos> quero meu primeiro beijo Não quero ficar impune E dizer-te cara a cara Muito mais é o que nos une Que aquilo que nos separa <laughs> but you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, I, I wasn't actually giving my best, guys. Yeah, don't, uh, okay. don't judge my, you know. <laughs> How did your trainings change for the preparation of ADXC 2 rule set? So the preparation for, for this specific rule set, we have to change some things, like uh, the three minute uh, action, uh, it's, it's more intense and uh, there's no time to stop you know because the the rules doesn't the, doesn't allow that you have you have always to be active and uh, but for me but for me I actually felt really great uh, doing this because then you have one minute to rest and when you go to the next round you're ready uh, you actually can uh, can uh, rest a lot in one minute if you are in shape so I think it will be very great yeah how did you train for fighting in the cage yeah, what we did was using mostly like wall, padded walls, and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, but because that's that's an issue. We, we had to uh, divide the training in in a system that we could work as well uh, the fight when it goes to the cage because it's a different system. It's uh, there are different ways to escape when you are uh, pinned to the to the cage. So we work that as well. Um, and uh, as Bruno said. Uh, 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 Bruno is a monster, he's always in shape, so it's, uh, for him it was actually uh, uh, very easy to, 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 to maintain the rhythm in this system of 3-1. Um, apart from that, um, technically uh, there is no uh, many space for setup, to, to make the setup of the technique actually, before uh, making any a sweep, an attack, whatever. Uh, so, uh, we had to, to, to put a little bit fast forward the, the setup of the techniques in the three minute space. So, more or less, we, we, we manage our, our tactics and technique around this uh, system. How do you manage Bruno? Well, uh, actually, I'm a neuropsychologist. As a, my work is a neuropsychologist. So, it was Bruno as a, a, a very strong DNA mentally. Uh, so, uh, actually, um, when, I, when, when I start training uh, Bruno when he was younger, uh, it was really easy because he's al already a fighter, you know, he was already a, a wolf wanting to, to climb. Um, so uh, he falls uh, as anybody uh, falls, as I fall, everybody falls, but he's very quick, uh, he, he learns very fast and he's very quick uh, preparing himself to, to fight uh, with the things that he, he, he learned from that fall.
Describe Bruno Lima in five words. Five things about Bruno. Well, it's he's loyal. That's the first thing. Uh, I I I love him like a son. So uh, uh, he's like a son to me, uh, and uh, he's um, uh, he's someone that you can count as a friend. Uh, someone that. Uh, I have to be careful because he can he take his, his clothes to give to every to to the others uh, and uh, and uh, and he's very very intelligent. I mean, he, he, if he didn't do jujitsu, in my opinion, he could be a neuropsychologist, he could be a doctor, whatever he wanted to be, because he's really intelligent. When he puts his mind, that's why he's so good in jujitsu because he puts his mind in the in the art of jujitsu, and he's the but for me, he's the best. Can you tell us five words about your coach? Five things about my coach. Uh, he's, he's a true master, like not just a professor, he's a guide that I, I, I had the luck to encounter. Um, he's, a, he's a helper, like he helps. Uh, he is a guy that makes, thing, makes things work and makes things happen. He's the guy that steps forward yeah you know and super intelligent one of the most intelligent person that i that i that i know and uh he's, he's also i i would say kind of mysterious you know like he, he has an aura of a little bit of mysteriousness sometimes he comes up he comes up with something that you're like, how how is this happening you know he has he has a lot going on this man <laughs> Do you have a message for your followers? Yeah, I, I would like uh, to to entertain you with my jiu-jitsu. I would like you to see the beauty of uh, what I do. Uh, I hope I can do that. And uh, yeah, guys, follow me. I'm not I'm not really like too much into media. I'm not really too much into self-promoting. But uh, I would like you guys uh, you guys to see more about me. Let's, Let's go, go ADXC2. ADXC2.